In this video, I'm going to tell you how to counter every single hero in Overwatch 2, D.Va. If the D.Va is incompetent or loves stacking main, then the solution is easy. Go Zarya and hold M1, or just go high damage heroes to obliterate the D.Va. But, if you're going against a good D.Va who doesn't feed and correctly marks high grounds, then it's a bit more complicated and a bit more team oriented. If you can split the D.Va's attention, that's what can cause great panic. Make her choose between marking and controlling high grounds and peeling her backline. Sombra is also a good hero against her, considering the hack and range advantage she has. Doomfist Right now, Doom has a bunch of power block bugs that prevent him from being actually viable, but generally speaking, there's a few things you can do. Either run heroes with hard CC like Orisa, Ana, or Sombra, or run heroes that can deny Doomfist any space, like D.Va, Sombra, Tracer, Echo, and even Zen with his orbs. Junker Queen the latest set of Junker Queen buffs have pretty much made her a meta staple right now, so what can you do? Well, Junker Queen's two biggest weaknesses, even from release, has always been her range and mobility. Running heroes like Sigma, Farah, Ash, Hanzo, Zen, Mercy, and others can keep Junker Queen at bay from range, and because of her limited mobility, she should have a tough time getting up close. Ana and Kiriko can also deny value from her Adrenaline Surge and her Ultimate respectively. Playing with Matra or Zarya are also decent choices as long as you force Commanding Shell early before you close the distance. Orisa Simple. Either run Zarya and or focus stuff around the Orisa. Even on Zarya, you're still trying to prioritize squishy heroes where you can. If you're shooting at Orisa in Fortify whilst there are squishies that you could be shooting, then there's a problem. Abuse the fact that Orisa has limited mobility and utility by fighting for the key spaces of the map around the Orisa. Ramatra. Before the Queen buffs, I would have said that Ramatra was the best Pokeball tank in the game. He had the range, sustain, and damage to back up his kits. But similar to Orisa, I think it's kind of futile trying to run up against the Ramatra. Wrecking Ball in particular, I found very annoying to play against the Ramatra because you don't have any hard CC to deal with them. And if the enemy team are running like an Ana Zen, then those two heroes can prevent Ramatra from closing the distance. Reinhardt. There's a bunch of things you can do against Orion. Ramatra pretty much melts him, he can't do much on maps with high ground, so running ranged threats like Ash and Mercy are a pain to deal with, and also, playing against Ana Zen is absolutely hellish due to Nade, Sleep, and Discord. I could honestly keep going. In short, if you're going to play in close range against the Reinhardt, make sure you soften him up beforehand. Honestly, every hero in this game, apart from Doomfist and Lifeweaver, counts a hog. Just play the game and counter him by proxy. Orisa, Ana, Zen, and a good Tracer are particularly annoying for him to play against. Sigma Sigma of course loves to keep his range, but he does have the tools to defend himself if he gets walked upon. A good Rhinoc for example, with good shield management, or a good Junker Queen or Zarya, should be able to bully the Sigma up close. Symmetra, Junkrat, and to a lesser extent Reaper can also kinda do the same thing. And because we're all about closing the distance, Lucio can help with that too. Winston of course all the gold players will be in the comments telling me that Reaper or even Bastion is a good counter, but if the Winston knows what he's doing and can get on top of the enemy squishies, unless Reaper or Bastion sit in the backline, they're not going to be doing much. Now, they obviously aren't bad picks, but they're just one small piece to the larger idea of running mad sustain. Winston is going to be doing fuck all against a Junker Queen, Brig, Ana, Torb, Cassidy or Reaper comp. Now, that comp does have its own downsides, and it can be countered itself, but if you're really struggling against a Winston, look to get higher damage or higher sustain. Wrecking Ball Sombra is the obvious counter here, just hacking from invis whenever he flanks, but other heroes like Tracer or Zen can deny the space he has before he dives. And similar to the Doom counters, heroes like Torb, Ana, and D.Va can actually absorb the dive itself. Choose your pick, or choose both. Zarya Zarya's two biggest weaknesses are her lack of sustain and her lack of mobility. Reinhardt, Junker Queen, and Ramatra can easily W key on her. Alternatively, heroes like Winston can cleave multiple enemies around the Zarya, especially if she's on low charge. Either pummel the Zarya from high ground and from range, so that even if she's on high charge, she's built like a glass cannon and can't last for long. Now onto the DPS's with Ash. Ash's strengths lie in her range and damage, but falter in her sustain and mobility. Duelist heroes like Genji and Tracer, and to a lesser extent Sombra, can easily demolish her, especially without a Mercy Pocket, and especially on maps with high ground, you really ought to be playing Winston, Ball, or D.Va. You lose against Ash once she has all the space in the world, specifically on high ground based maps, so you need to play heroes that can contest that. Kiriko and Moira are even solid picks, as long as you can pull off the flanking playstyle. Bastion, the noob stomper of a pick. 
Honestly, any hitscan pick, and even Sojourn who can easily farm rail off him, can melt Bastion's mega hitbox. I will say that the counter to Bastion is more of a playstyle thing rather than hero specific. As long as you can play defensive during Bastion's turret cycles, you're pretty much good to go. Any hero can pretty much kill Bastion if he hasn't got turret form. Unless you're Life Weaver because that hero's trash. Cassidy. Cassidy is a pretty versatile hero, more of a jack of all trades, master of none kind of thing. So, you can either outrange him with heroes like Ash, Mercy, Zen, Widow, and Hanzo, or you can abuse his lackluster mobility with a dive or duelist oriented comp. He hasn't really got too much of a glaring weakness, and most of his so called counters are soft counters. Echo. Similar to Farah, as you'll see later, range can often be a big issue for Echo. Two Cassidy shots, one Hanzo arrow, and Echo automatically has to play way more passive. If she lands her stickies and beam combo up close, you're likely gonna die to her. Most of the tanks don't interact with Echo, barring D.Va, but it's also pretty easy to feed on D.Va against an Echo. I will say that Sombra is also a decent counter, since a hack from Invis, paired alongside Echo's big hitbox, can easily melt Echo on the ground. Genji. Moira and Brea can be tough to deal with, alongside a high charge Zarya. Sustain and bulky brawl comps don't really bode well for Genji, since heroes like Reinhardt, Mei, Baptiste, and Lucio can easily tank through your dash and your shurikens most of the time. Hanzo. I've always seen Hanzo like an alternative Cassidy, with higher burst damage in exchange for lower sustain. Heroes like Genji, Doomfist, Sombra, and Tracer should easily be able to squash the Hanzo with no issue. Sigma, I think, is also an underrated tank to play against, because you can mark at any angles he takes. Junkrats. The classic counter is Pharmacy of course, but Junkrat's kind of built like a glass cannon. Zara can absorb his mines and melt him down, Diva can eat all kinds of spam from him, and most importantly, most heroes honestly have a relatively decent matchup against him as long as you're aware of where he is. A Junkrat sneaking up on you for a mine concussion combo is a recipe for disaster. Maybe even going Hanzo and scouting out his flanks could be worthwhile. May. I made a whole video on why Mei is so underrated, but one thing I didn't talk about was Mei's lackluster mobility. If you play very split against Mei, and you also play to outrange her, then the value she can get from her wall will be at most quite limited. Heroes with high sustain like Romatra and Orisa can also withstand getting split from Mei's wall. Farah. Of course the average gold player is gonna yell play hitscan Lamau, but it's a bit more nuanced than that. The biggest thing is that if you're gonna play hit scans like Soldier, Widow, or Cassidy, you really need to keep the range. Farah loves duels in close range, especially getting up close with that concussive blast. So if you're running something like an Ana, Zen, and Widowmaker, you really can't let the Farah get on top of you. In terms of projectile counters, Echo is also really, really good against Pharmacy. And for tanks, go Diva, of course. Reaper. Before I get into his counters, I want to briefly cover his two playstyles. Reaper either frontlines against squishy tanks, or he flanks against a glass cannon and mobile squishies. So, to counter him, make either or both of those playstyles hard to pull off. Orisa, Torb, Cassidy, Brig, and Ana is probably the hardest counter to Reaper in the game. Or, if you're on a more open map, Far and Echo can work too, as well as other ranged options. Sojourn. Before, Sojourn had a pretty strict counter in Cassidy, since if Sojourn ever got close or power stood aggressively, Cassidy could just two-shot the Sojourn. Now that's less of a counter, but still a viable option. Playing tanks with slender hitboxes like Junker Queen and ensuring that it's tough for her to charge her Rolgan off can lower how effective she is. Weirdly enough, I think Brig is also a decent pick against her, since she kind of acts like an aggression check if the Sojourn power slides aggressively. Soldier 76. His biggest counter is any dive hero in the game. Even Lucio's can reliably win duels against a soldier. Soldier just doesn't have any big, reliable burst of damage, unlike Cassidy with his nade, Sojourn with a railgun, or even Hanzo with the storm arrows. Sure, he has helix rockets, but that's tough to hit on a moving target. Take advantage of how squishy he can be, and pounce when the opportunity shows itself. Sombra. Sombra's USP, or unique selling points, is her range. She's the flanker in the game with the most range. For example, she can farm a tank more easily than someone like a tracer. So, just outrange the Sombra. One Hanzo arrow, two Cassidy body shots, one Widow body shot, and that Sombra is forced to use her translocates. You can also out-sustain the Sombra by running things like Torb and Brig, but be careful that you may not have enough mobility to directly contest her. Symmetra. Symmetra thrives when she can get her level 3 beam up, melting down the enemy tank. Her alternative playstyle is a less resource intensive one, involving taking off angles and spamming from range. Forcing Symmetra into that latter playstyle will make things tougher for her, since she's not microwaving your team. Torbjorn. One of the classic counters against traditional dive heroes. 
Torp struggles at dishing out reliable damage from mid to long range, which is why heroes like Cassidy, Sigma and Echo can quite easily burn him down. On longer range maps, just run snipers against him, alongside Bap Zen to burn his turret, and you should be fine. Tracer Tracer is such a strong and versatile hero that there's not many direct counters to her. There's Torbjorn of course with his turret, but other people can destroy the turret anyways. Personally, I think the best counter to Tracer is to mirror her with support. A Tracer with Zen Orbs or a Tracer with Brick Packs will win against a regular Tracer. Brick in particular also has that sustain too, so picking her is definitely a top solution. As for tanks, D.Va also has the ability to mark her and eat her pulse bombs, so she's likely the top tank pick too. Widowmaker High range, low mobility. Any dive tank, Genji, Tracer, Lucio, Kiriko, even Moira are all solid duelists to flush out the Widowmaker and eliminate her range advantage. Poke rule tanks like Ramatra and Reinhardt don't often interact with the Widow anyways, so their matchups are mostly neutral. Ana. Of course, the classic counter is just to run Kiriko forehead and Suzu her anti-nade, but I want to look at situations where you wouldn't want to run Ana. And that's why you're running a brawl comp where you'd either be running Baptiste or in a full on poke matchup where Baptiste just does more damage. So team comp wise, that's where you can get an advantage. Individually speaking, diving or pressuring the Ana of course is a good move. Either running straight into the backline as Reinhardt or Ramatra or just diving in on any hero. Baptiste. Bap's kind of the jack of all trades support hero. He's tough to nail down a specific hard counter for because there kind of isn't one. I suppose if you're on DPS, playing them well is just probably your best bet, and that sounds kind of vague, but what I mean is choosing and picking a specific playstyle. For example, flanking on Junkrat to get that one shot off, or flanking on Reaper instead of frontlining. Or just taking good, well timed angles on Ash or Sojin. Things like that can catch a Baptiste out in the open, and as for the other tank and support matchups, most of them are pretty neutral, if not similar to Honor. Brigitte. Thriving the best against dive comps, where Brick falters is in the ranged matchups against snipers or mercy based comps, or in straight up brawl comps like your Lucio Baparine stuff on Li Jiang. Despite Brick being a melee hero, she wants to keep a relatively far distance away from the enemy tank, but she also wants to get close eventually in the mid fight to get those swings off. Those two types of compositions can make either of those goals really tough for Brick to achieve. Kiriko, I genuinely think this hero doesn't have a hard counter. She's only really bad in situations where you wouldn't pick Kiriko anyways, like on Soko Royale where you should be playing Bap Zen, but even then you could get away with Kiriko in your rank games. I suppose pouncing on Kiriko if she's isolated when you're playing as a flanker, or just being more aware of your surroundings as a sniper in case a Kiriko tries to pounce on you are all precautionary measures that you can take. Life Weaver. This is me when I see my teammates pick this hero at the start of a game. Nah, that ain't it, y'all. Listen, uh, man. Nah. This hero counters nobody and nothing, and everyone counters this hero. Worse than Roadhog. Don't play this hero. Lucio. Any CC can stop his Reddit antics, and if he's supporting a DPS on a flank, someone like a Brig can do that job better. For example, a Sojin Lucio should lose against a Brig Sojin. But as for direct counters, there's not really too much to say honestly. Most of his matchups are pretty neutral. Mercy. Mercy has some pretty rudimentary counters, thriving on ranged maps, but struggling up close due to her low sustain. Get behind her on any flank in the game, or close the distance with broader compositions. The Brig vs Mercy matchup is interesting, since if you can close the distance on Brig, Mercy is kind of screwed. Moira. Moira is probably the best support duelist in the game, thanks to her insane sustain. However, she has no utility. Honor nades really pose a threat to her, and while she hasn't got any direct or individual counters, she's a utility burden on her team. Things like Immortality Field, Suzu, Nade, Sleep, and Zen Orbs, if used correctly, will often naturally outvalue what Moira can do. If you're struggling individually, I recommend going heroes with high sustain. Moira is simply not out dueling you if you're on Brig. Zenyata, the definitive glass cannon of Overwatch. If you can close the distance on a rush comp, Zen is kinda finished. Part of it is map dependent, but any hero who's competent at dueling and has mobility can give Zen a hard time. There's your classic Tracer Sombra stuff, but heroes like Lucio, Kiriko and Moira, and to a lesser extent, Baptiste, are supports who can give Zen a tough time if they're playing aggressively in a flanker or DPS oriented style. And that's it for the video. Shout out to my Patreons Remy Kane and Tyler Bishop, and my tier 3 Patreon Dappy Amen. Until next time.